can see if I can get five miles to retrieve this stick. I haven't been able to been working with it in a while. Where I've been working. You ready? Watch it. Watch it. Go get it. Bring it back. All right, the wild wind just got done whacking it. I just dropped it. It's old crooked elm. It's got knots. It's a gnarly old elm. Gnarly knots that were limbs. But it's got good thick bark on it. I believe sometimes when they log, they get damaged. And it kicks into healing. In the tree, and they, the bark actually gets thicker. And, I mean, this is a short fat crooked white elm but the bark on it's awesome but main point i just dropped this tree today this evening it's about 4 30. now you see the the dark color on it i skinned the base of this tree about four to five days ago it's I mean, I, I, I'm still comfortable four or five days because it is still pulling rosin off the top. I don't know exactly how long it will go, but I wouldn't leave them too long because they do dry and start re-sticking, and then you just wasted the bark. But if you, if you hit the butt of one, like I've done this one, come back in three or four days, or the second day or whatever, and finish it off. But, uh... Yeah, that's, that's what I was just wanting to point out. You know, you can you can hit the butts. But you can see how fresh I just just cut this tree down. It didn't take me five ten minutes. I old axe, it's old crooked knotty butterball am. But I mean, it's got good bark. And I'm just gonna finish it off this evening. Get a head start for tomorrow. But don't leave them too long, or they will restick. I mean, well, they don't restick; they just dry up and die, and then you've lost all the bark. So, hit it relatively fast after you skin the butts. And if you don't know for sure you're gonna get back and finish it, and you hit that butt anyway, shame on you. <laughs> anyway, short video. God bless.